This is a story about one country's search for safe water. Awash with an abundance of water, Bangladesh's land is low-lying. Monsoon rains blanket the country during the wet season. These wells offer life during the long, dry season. Water to drink, water to clean, water to live. All over Bangladesh, thousands of shallow wells have been dug using this traditional technique. But in the early 1990s, dangerous levels of arsenic were detected in these shallow wells. Suddenly, an unseen poison threatened Bangladesh's water supply. This is a song for the search for safe water. Working in 12-hour shifts, these men drill deep into the grounds to find safe water for a village. It will take a week to reach 700 feet, where water is free from arsenic. The arsenic issue was uh, identified in the early 90s in, in Bangladesh, and uh, roughly about 35% uh, of the whole country is uh, you know, infested with uh, this problem. Uh, the amount of people uh, is, is more than, uh, in Gulf is about more than 50 million. So it was a huge, huge uh, problem. Almost overnight, one of the country's bountiful blessings became a deadly curse. Arsenic is very interesting because it interacts with the cells, the genes in many, many different ways. So it, it is a toxin. Uh, it's probably one of the only environmental toxins that attacks more than one organ in human body. And it also causes uh, various gene mutation or uh, expression differences that, you know, other environmental carcinogens just aren't capable of doing. This man has dealt with the effects of arsenicosis for over 20 years. Arsenic can create painful lesions on the skin and cause various cancers. The Bangladesh government and international organizations took quick action. The IAEA and the Bangladesh Atomic Energy Commission used nuclear techniques. They discovered that arsenic occurred naturally in the groundwater. Environmental isotopes in water helped to predict where safe water can be found. The age of groundwater was used to find where arsenic's impact is greatest. Once the cause was discovered, Villagers were discouraged from digging shallow wells. Isotope hydrology had helped to show that shallow wells carry arsenic. Safe waters were deeper in the ground. Water from this well might be used to clean clothes, but will not be safe for drinking or cooking. This is shallow aquifers is highly contaminated. Most of the areas in Bangladesh is highly contaminated, especially the shallow aquifers. That's one of the options the government is, is getting the, from the isotopic results. The deep aquifer is only the one of the solutions for, for providing the safe and sustainable the water supply to the rural people. Education about the dangers of arsenic also plays an important role in finding safe water. In the town of Chapai Navabganj, the IAEA and World Bank used isotope analyses to find water that would remain arsenic-free long into the future. This discovery helps Bangladesh to save lives and money in investments needed for arsenic removal and water treatment plants. Enormous progress has been made in projects like these over the past 20 years. Yet more needs to be done. 
Nuclear techniques are helping Bangladesh and its rural population to find safe water. People now know that the best treatment for arsenic poisoning is drinking safe water.